hello guys here is shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i'm going to show you a very yummy recipe very special recipe that is yellow lentils curry with fish head it's so much delicious with especially boiled rice and it's so easy to make so guys let's see how to make it i'm taking half cup of moong dal moong dal means yellow lentils and now we need to roast it don't wash the lentils at the beginning of the recipe at first we need to roast it and after that we'll wash it so i'm taking a kadai and turn the heat on now i'm adding the lentils in the curry and on medium heat we need to roast the lentils for about 4 to 5 minutes and we need to stir the lentils continuously like this to roast it evenly after about 4 to 5 minutes a nice aroma will come and the color will change a little and now it's done i'm taking it out in a plate and after that we need to wash the lentils let the lentils cool down a little and after that wash them properly and here i washed the lentils for two times very clearly and here we have a fish head and here it is it's a ruhu fish head so we are going to make a, a delicious curry with moong dal and uh, fish head it's a so much delicious recipe so don't forget to try this recipe when you get a fish head so let's go for the main process i'm doing the whole process in a pressure cooker so here i turn the heat on and put a pressure cooker on the heater i'm adding some cooking oil in the cooker and now we need to let the oil heat well and after that i'm adding some cumin seeds half teaspoon of cumin seeds i'm adding and uh, two to three bay leaves torn and uh, about half teaspoon of mustard seeds as well after all the whole spices crackled well, we need to add some uh, finely chopped garlic. I usually add garlic before onion uh, for a nice roasted garlic flavor. So I'm adding about 1 tablespoon of finely chopped garlic. Quickly after adding garlic, we need to add the onions. So I'm taking 1 medium sized onion, finely chopped. We need to wait for some time until the color of the onions are uh, light brown. And now it's done now i'm going to add the tomatoes and the green chilies i'm taking one medium sized tomato finely chopped and some green chilies according to taste and you may add some red chili powder if you like but i'm not going to use that now i'm adding some salt according to taste about one and a half teaspoon of salt i'm adding and about half teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder i'm mixing a little and now we need to wait for some time until the tomatoes are nicely soft while the tomatoes are being soft, I am going to add the fish head in the cooker. So here is the fish head, actually it is frozen. You may take the fresh one. So uh, after adding the fish head, we need to stir a little. I want the fish head to be coated with the spices. So I am stirring all the things. After the tomatoes are nicely soft, we need to add the lentils into the cooker so i'm adding it after adding the lentils we need to add some water i'm going to use the water quantity about three times of the quantity of the lentils not too much water at this time so i'm adding water i need some more water so after mixing a little i'm going to add some more water in total the water is about three times of the quantity of the lentils and after that i'm covering the lid of the pressure cooker now on medium heat i'm going to bring about three whistles in the cooker after three whistles i'm releasing the pressure of the pressure cooker and now i'm opening the lid now we need to check the lentils check the curry so our lentils are very nicely cooked and the fish head is also cooked as well so we need to break the fish head actually we need to mix up the fish head in all the curry and after that we need to add some water according to our requirements of the consistency i'm breaking the fish head and after that i'm adding some water Add the water quantity according to your wish, how thick or how thin you want your curry. After mixing well, 
we need to bring a boil to the curry we need to boil the curry for about 2 to 3 minutes on medium heat i checked the salt and i added some salt according to taste so now i'm keeping the heat on high and after the curry starts to boil i'll turn the heat on medium so guys after boiling for about 2 to 3 minutes on medium heat our curry will be done and at the end of this recipe you may use some fresh coriander leaves if you like but actually i didn't have them so i'm skipping them so guys our curry is almost ready this curry is so much delicious with especially boiled rice so serve this curry hot with boiled rice everyone will praise you so guys try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me thank you so much for watching hope to meet you in the next video